of course, we never actually see how Striker reacts to Cabal, which is bullshit. Now this here, I believe, is a reference to the events of MK Gold, which is the re-release of MK4, because in Cyrax is ending in that, Jax helps um, Cyrax to become human again. Well, not fully human, he still has the augmentation, but he has his free will again. Sub-Zero. In fact, in the original timeline, I, th I think Smoke was the only cyborg to not get his free will back. It was instead reprogrammed by Noob. Where Sector just got his back and Cyrax was saved by Jax. And look! Yeah. Like I said, they, they, they're just using Cyber Sub-Zero as a separate character to get around the fact that... They're just trying to get around the fact that, that Sub-Zero's had his chapter. They're like, oh, he's a separate character, it's alright. To do that with Injustice, where you, where you get two Batman chapters, because there's two different versions of Batman in the game. Well, that one was fucking cheap, because they have the same moveset. Sub-Zero should never have undergone this transformation. Enlisting him may only further divert the flow of time. But you're trying to divert the flow of time, you idiot. They will be unaware of my defection. I could deceive them. See, it is at least an interesting development, the idea of, of Cyber Sub-Zero. See, they, they, and we got Noob there as like as like foreshadowing to the reveal of who he is. It's one of the whole thing is Sub Zero's going to um, Outworld to trick the cyborgs and say, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still totally one of you guys. Don't don't worry, bros." And then this scene happens. <laughs> What mission brings us here? I have scanned your neural net 520. Your neural modulators have been recalibrated. He, know, he knows straight away. So what was the point of this? System. Remove your access. I mean, granted, even though it doesn't really go anywhere, I do. I will admit that it's a plot point that makes perfect sense. You know, it does make sense. It's something that the characters would logically do. They would be like, okay, Sub-Zero... You try and trick them to thinking that you're still one of them. So it is a logical uh, progression, which is which does ultimately uh, justify this this sequence's existence. Let's see what special moves have got, because they are different from normal. Oh my god! Oh oh! You see this? See how many from there are? You, uh, Dive kick, which I guess is when you're in the air. Ice parry, teleport. Because now, now we can teleport because he's a cyborg, I guess. Although I think human sex and science can do it as well. Uh, ice bomb, ice ball. No, oh, shit. <laughs> Stop hurting him, Mr. Robot Man. Why is he not letting me do my x ray? Oh, oh no, I, th I think I remember now. I think Cyber Sub-Zero has like a different input for for his X-Ray move or something stupid like that. No. I could have sworn that was... Then why is he not letting me do it? What the hell? Well, that's just awful. Fuck off and die, sex whore. Cold-blooded bastard! I'll tell you what I think of it. I live to see it that can't right. Round two. Don't ask what that's about. I really don't know. Oh, you have to unlock his X-ray, dear. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. It might be a thing where he unlocks it over the during the story. Like I think that's the thing. Because remember in MK vs DCU story, uh, there's a part where, where Jax, for his final fight, throws his machine gun away so he can't use that move anymore for his fight, fight, final fight with Wonder Woman. So I think they've done, they've done something similar here, where this, this move is uh, locked away. It's possible. But Cyber Sub-Zero has some of the most ridiculous, stupid fights, and it just completely messes up the... Uh, mess, it kind of messes up the, in, the entire, like... Power level uh, s 
structure of the game. Like, if you look at like, how the characters, how good the characters are at fighting, it's like, like there's no reasonable way Cyber Sub Zero could ever lose a fight to anyone. What, the motherfucker? Take that, you Sub bitch! Zero wins. Artificial enhancements are no substitute for the human soul. Okay then. But he does still have his soul. Oh, that's it. He, he, he hacks Sector to get some information, I believe. So I guess it doesn't just go nowhere. Uh, I think he finds he gets information about the Soul Nado. <laughs> Boon, Vogel. <laughs> so he's, yeah, he's going to the cemetery because of. Because that's where the Soul Nado is. Now the Soul Nado was a thing in MK3 that was shown as being like it, seemed, it was implied to be like one of the first things, one of the first things that, that happens in the invasion. The Soul Nado opens up and the and the souls of everyone in Earthrealm is taken, except for a few chosen warriors of Raidens. Finally, come on, we gotta get him to the graveyard. At There's not many of them. On your feet, all of you. For what purpose? Don't care really, so long as. Yeah, so this is obviously for the Soul Nado. But I think like everyone on Earthrealm dies when they get restored at the end at the end of MK3, but now it's gone. Hey, what it does And Shatter it. But yeah, so the so you basically have like the uh, other than Shao Kahn, because you don't fight Shao Kahn, you basically have all the worst characters to fight in this chapter. So he saves these soldiers, and then... Ah! Yeah. Goro Kintaro. Because Kano's shit. Yes, you are fucking seeing that right. I have to beat Goro and Kintaro at the same time. It's absolute bollocks. I don't remember the input for the teleport. And then an issue with Sub Zero is that like, what what moves does he really have that I could enhance? I, th I think you do have to unlock Cyber Sub, Cyber Sub Zero's X Ray move. I, I think that's actually a thing. Uh. Oh, wait, he does have the slide. Okay, it's not going to do much though. Okay. What the? F oh, fuck off! That's absolute bollocks. I, I, you saw that, right? You, you saw the absolute bollocks on display. I mean, I'd rather not see the absolute bollocks on display of Goro and Kintaro. And the ultimate no cell move. Oh, he, he does. He does move back because it's, it's only when you're too really close, I guess. Okay, so I've got a decent move: square, square, triangle. It seems to be basically my, my best option here. But here's the thing, like. Yeah, I know it's a tough fight. This is a tough fight, but Cyber Sub Zero does win this fight canonically from the story. So logically, if he can beat the two Shokans, remember one of them was the champion of Mortal Kombat for 500 years. He went he went undefeated in all that time. And Kintaro should be not far off his level. Like you couldn't possibly imagine Cyber Sub Zero ever losing a fight to anyone. Because he's just beating those two at the same time. Like, that's a feat greater than anything Liu Kang has pulled off. And Liu Kang is the Mortal Kombat champion, the guy who broke Goro's streak. And the others get twatted. I love how Sonya and Jax are nowhere near these other soldiers. In fact, Sonya has we're already over half... Yeah, we've just passed the halfway mark of the MK3 section, I think, pretty much. Well, after the, in, in the middle of this fight, we will. Yeah, we haven't actually seen Sonya in the MK3 section, or Katana, or Jade. 
So yeah, like I said, the worst characters. You got Sector with his teleport spam, Ermat with his super cheap moves, the, the super cheap um, sub bosses. It's just, it's just every little cheap fucking thing you could, you could, you could expect, and it's just everything in this fucking game. It's just astounding, you know, that they have that, that they have to go up against all these characters specifically. Round two. There might it might be that uh, uh, the X-ray move can only be used in certain conditions. Oh, I remember now. It's an aerial X-ray. I don't think the game actually tells you, but it has to be done in the air. That's what it is. I don't know if it's actually more pow any more powerful than other characters' X-ray moves. But yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. You are not so fierce. It's kind of interesting that there's actually not many characters who have been able to beat Goro in any canonical story. I must go. I need to investigate the graveyard. I... But we have to return to our unit. That is for the best. What's with that guy with the white hair? Like, he's, he's, it's not, this game doesn't have an anime aesthetic. It's not a Japanese game, so I don't know why he'd have white hair unless he's like an old guy. Oh, look, it's Noob in his, in his cool outfit. Just interrupt it, Sub-Zero, for fuck's sake. I know you're trying to figure out what he's trying to do, but just attack him. And look, even though they're using the same character models, it's not the same guys as before. Oh, look, there's Sonya. And Johnny as well. They've just been absent. It's a thing where they have so many characters they don't know what to do with them. Which just, which, it might have helped if they decided killing characters off over the course of the story. One of Shao Kahn's soulnados. Yeah, so Quan Chi is now the one responsible for the Soul Nado in MK3. Another completely unnecessary retcon. Also, you may notice like the, the way the flesh is like, no matter my efforts, the future like it's all kind of lumpy around Jax's metal arms, which could indicate the original arms were just coverings to go over his normal arms instead of just you know, actual prosthetics. Sub Zero, we will disrupt the Soul Nado. I will be there momentarily. Yes. Yeah, Nightwolf, Nightwolf's on his way, but not with anyone else. So, Sub Zero's eyes, I'm gonna walk over. But again, the, the Soul Nader was supposed to be like an opening gambit, and like, not many people went to be left. Now, this is a pretty interesting uh, scenario, I admit. You. You are not worthy of the name Sub Zero. Who are you to judge? I wore those colors before you. Bihan? Yes, Kwai Liang. It is I. Quan Chi restored me. Restored? You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected me. For what end? To serve the Nether Realm and Outworld? It suits my purpose. The brother. We are share me. blood. We are not brothers. Then I will not regret your defeat. See, that's a, it's, it's actually a really cool setup here. The idea that the two Sub Zeros have been altered by different forces. And, like, one. Like, and they're both, they're both being controlled for a while. But it's, it's kind of interesting. Like, I feel like if, it could even be more interesting, really, if you think about it. If Noob was res got his memory back. Like, well, not his memory, rather, his uh, free will. And then he and his brother w uh, worked together to, like, def to defeat the Link Way. Like, just imagine how cool that would be. Because in the original timeline, after MK4, so, uh, the younger Sub Zero is like, okay, I'm going to go back to the Link Way, which is currently run by Sector, and I'm going to, I'm going to deal with him, defeat him, and turn the Link Way into a force of good. And so he does. And in Deadly Lines, he's the new Grandmaster of the Link Way. Now, that let, so that was kind of his his deal during the um, the PS2 era. <laughs> now imagine. <laughs> That's great. He has to actually stop to do that to do his uh, victory pose. But yeah, um, basically, um, imagine how interesting it would be since if now they had it that Sub Zero finds out that his brother is new uh, earlier than the original timeline. 
but uh, both of them have been changed from their human cells. One's a cyborg, one's a wraith. And they both work together to uh, restore the Link Way. And then you have Cyber Sub Zero and Noob Cybot as the um, as the two um, grandmasters of the Link Way. That would make for a really interesting idea. And in fact, they could even like bring Smoke, obviously bring Smoke along and uh, Cyrax as well. I mean, that could have made for a really cool scenario. You are right. We are not now, there's a lot of potential here, and I do know ahead of time they didn't do this because, well, they, they, I just know they didn't. But it's, it's the idea I had here where it could have been cool if Noob could be restored to his old self or somewhere in between Sub Zero and Noob Cyber, like a like an amalgamation with the powers of both. It kind of like the way I was approaching Noob in uh, when I was doing that series MK Story, where, where he has like the black ice power, we freeze people and that the ice is black, somewhat similar to that.